for some. Parata, parata, parata. Can you hear me? That, but it's National Fraud Awareness Week, and what we're actually after here, heck yeah, simply a commentary. I think that's fair enough, don't you? Oh. I mean, come on, it's it's pretty simple. This here is the power of a journey. This here is someone agreeing to inflate that account, and this is the bill from your mother. It's National Fraud Awareness Week. I'm just trying to help my politicians. The person I voted for, I might add. I, I don't out. know whether you did or not, well, John, did, but John, I've it. given you um, significant time already. I've heard, I've heard your thing? issue, this I've is had long. you write to this me several long. times. Really? I've right done wrong. what I was able to do no, for you, I'm and the fact that I haven't been able to resolve your particular no, issue, and nor has anyone else either, really, that's all that a person can do. That is all that I can do. Thank you, John. You've had my time. What do you think of this? Now, what do you think? You can tell us, I ask these old people what they think. It's someone who rips off old people. Old people. Yeah, these old people. Would you like to learn how to rip off old people? This is how it's done. This is how it's done. You get the power of attorney, you inflate the account, and then you send them a false bill for $1,000. And I can't get this woman to give us a simple comment. That is untrue, John. No, no, I have no, given you, you, you time. No, you gave me time, but you're for issues. I'm not asking you to resolve it here. I was just asking for a comment. What John, do you you're not think going to be satisfied on Fraud no Awareness Week? What do you think of Fraud Awareness Week? No, no, you've given no answer at all. It's completely spurious and, and lazy. I object of you to you harassing me. I'm not harassing you. I'm, you are getting the response I'm not you harassing you here. Here, I'm just asking for a comment. John, I wish you well. Well, what is that? I'm just going to be here asking people to say what they think is like they
How are you doing, my legal eagle friend? <laughs> right. I'm not a legal eagle. Anymore, you're not? No, no. Okay, thank you. I've said you wanted to know. Oh, I wasn't around, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's this? Oh, look, it's uh, an issue that, that I asked Nicky for comment on a year ago for free. It's an enduring power of attorney. It's how to rip off old people. You get their enduring power of attorney, you inflate the account, and you give them a bill for twice as much. All right. And these guys, the police, have had it for about three years and I've scratched their heads and gone, this isn't fraud. I'm saying that that's pretty much it for fraud. There it is, there's the account there, I've padded the bill, there's the bill for 1200 The man only received $200 out of my estate account. Uh, it was, well, by the way, what, well, the mum was it? Old people, something. The sisters were faking the accounts and faking them. Probably three hundred thousand dollars. It was quite a large estate, yeah. and uh, when it came time to look at it, um, that was a piece of money. That was a big money in terms of the overall um, largesse of this estate. We'll, we'll, we'll just forget about the thousand dollars now. To me, sorry, but there's my car there. That's a thousand dollar car. <laughs> you know, that represents to me a shitload of money. And, Yeah, you know, uh, I've just gone through the um, process in the UK, yeah. and uh, oh, yeah, yeah. what you need is an enduring power of attorney. Yes, yeah. Great. Right. Well, legislation changes. Oh, well, that enduring power of attorney is not worth anything at all. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go to, go to court when, you know, to effect the same, uh, same. same, same thing. So, 